You're listening to EU Audio. Listen, learn, lead. The hidden cost of cobots. Considerations manufacturers should make when contemplating cobots. To most people, man and machine seamlessly working hand in hand is like something out of a science fiction film. However, it is steadily becoming commonplace in the modern manufacturing facility. Here, we examine the rise of collaborative robots in the manufacturing industry and considerations site managers must make when adopting them into their facility. Collaborative robots, commonly known as cobots, are built to be smaller, lighter and safer than conventional industrial robots, enabling them to work safely alongside humans in a shared workspace. These robots, with their increased flexibility and dexterity, can complete more delicate tasks that conventional robots cannot, such as polishing fragile materials in the production process. Demand for this technology is on the rise, with the global cobot market expected to reach approximately $9 billion by 2025. Because of their flexibility and relative ease of use compared to fully automatic robotic systems, they are generally considered to be an affordable and attractive choice for small and medium-sized businesses. By adopting cobots, manufacturers can gain most of the benefits of traditional robots. They can carry out repetitive or unsafe tasks, freeing up human workers to add value but at a much lower cost of entry than their larger counterparts. Before investing in cobots, it's important that manufacturers carry out a complete and thorough risk assessment. Risk assessments could call for the addition of extra safety features, low operating speeds, or even multiple stops for a cobot. Furthermore, these extra considerations aren't free and add a significant amount to the integration costs. The safety requirements for industrialised robots in the workplace are set out in the ISO 10218 guidelines. However, these guidelines aren't enough for cobots, which see an increased number of interactions between human and robot. The ISO TS15066 guidelines, first introduced in 2016, supplement the ISO 10218 requirements, ensuring any machines classed as collaborative meet specific safety requirements. This includes any tools that have been adapted onto the robotic arm. It also outlines the maximum allowed power and speed limits for cobots. It also adds increased clarity on what is necessary when carrying out risk assessments on cobot applications. The risk assessment must consider the entire collaborative workspace and look at how the operator will interact with the robot. Manufacturers must take the time to ensure they properly risk assess all foreseeable contact situations that could arise between the operator and cobot for any job that the robot is expected to complete. Engineers need to carefully assess every task that the robot will complete in detail. An oversimplified assessment will not accurately represent how safe the robot will be. Here, manufacturers should consider the safety concept of ALARA as low as reasonably achievable. Manufacturers must consider all the potential risks that could arise in a robot application, not just one or two of them. The rapid growth of the global cobot market illustrates that they are an ideal first step towards automated manufacturing processes for many businesses. Upgrading a facility to make use of cobots is an attractive proposition, but one that requires careful risk assessment and good obsolescence management to reap the full benefits of this technology. EU Audio is brought to you by EU Automation.